Yeah, it might have been the 14th. Might have been the 24th. Um, yeah, I wanted to see her, so we ended up ordering a shirt, and that came last night. Um, because that was one of the things I was going to get while I was there, it was purchase a shirt from her merch stand. So that came last night, and then we ordered it, like, end of April, early May. I got my Father's Day gift, uh, all together for my dad. I just have to put it in a gift bag. And, yeah, I have a couple of crochet projects I'm thinking of doing. Um, we're sorting out plans for the summer. I met up with an old, uh, with a college friend. Um, once where we were working on plans to meet up again, and it, it just fell through the couple times we tried so far. Um, and so we have plans to meet up the end of next week. So hopefully that works out. If, if yeah, I think it should be fine, but we'll see. I just feel bad that I had to, um, postpone it twice so far. Um, but yeah, uh, got plans this summer, so I've paused job searching, just uh, volunteering at the hospital and nursing home uh, a couple of days a week or so. Um, I'm not going to specifically say which days because, yeah, um, the end of summer, early fall, I'm going to be reaching out to HR at the two places and the employment agency and work on trying to find a part-time paying position. I might have to lower my hours. I can at least do a day or two, but I'm going to have to lower. I'm going to have to get rid of a day or two. Uh, I can't remember. How many days I'm working? But yeah, I'm I'm definitely gonna have to lower my hours um, a little bit, so I can't handle full time. But I can do part time fine, so I can still have some time to do stuff other than working that I want to do, like crafts and just relaxing and appointments, just hanging out with my family. Um, So yeah, I have a couple hours until I have to go there, and yeah, I'm just deciding lunch. I was considering getting something small in the way, but I don't know, because I have to be careful with my money. So that I can cover anything else I, I want to do. That's above what my mom and dad help cover. Um, so I help cover some stuff. Anyway, I will keep you posted. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today it's early June and it's just a bit after 10. Like, maybe 10.20 now. I'm not exactly sure the time at the moment. Um, I'm just hanging out with my dog. It's a weekday. Um, so, yeah. Um, I have to, uh, I want to say happy pride to everyone in the LGBTQ uh, plus community. The she, he's, gays, and they's. Um, yeah, happy Pride, everyone. I hope you have a wonderful, fun, and safe Pride Month. Um, and, yeah, I'm wearing my Every Child Matters shirt today because I'm at the nursing home uh, today, and they're doing um, a mudging, smudging ceremony for at the Honor National Indigenous Day, People's Day, which is later this month. Um... So I'm wearing my Every Child Matters shirt. 
in support. Um, yeah. So, I haven't done too much this morning. I'm wearing that. I'm wearing old navy, like, capri leggings and my compression socks. Hence, my hair just in a pony right now. Um, so I said I'm hanging out with my dog. I've walked her a little for a short bit. Uh, we do have fires around us. Not quite around us, but like about an hour away. Um, there's some forest fires, so our air quality is not great at the moment. Uh, it was pretty smoky smelling when I was out there this morning. So I did not want to stay out for too long. Um, yeah, I gave her a little bit of brushing. She was groomed a few days ago. My mom and I groomed her. <laughs> little bit of a patch. It's a little long. Maybe I can get mom to cut it. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm, I'm porter today for the ceremony. Um, today. So I have to go up with an uh, actual border person and I help. Uh, I'm an assistant. Actually, I don't know if she's a border specifically or if she's a recreational therapist. Just helps transport them down. I don't know. Well, at least the one I was with last week and my first week doing it the week after week in between she's just a part time she's already upstairs so I don't know um yeah um I was hoping to see Alexandra K a few weeks ago um but I was not able to get tickets in time and we just weren't able to get the um the date even though there's tickets left, but like it was late enough that I don't think you, my mom would have committed to it, and I wouldn't have had a way there anyway, most likely. I was like April fourteenth. I think she she was in Toronto. No, I forgot to film um, more of my day. Uh, it's been a couple of days now since that shift. Um, I just watched YouTube until it was time to go, had some lunch, and uh, I walked, or no, I didn't have lunch, I bought lunch on my way uh, in, had a few bites uh, before I started, and then we brought down the patients for the ceremony at the residence. Uh, they played, she sang a few songs, some of the residents played Shakers, um, we learned Buffalo Noise, and we brought the patients back up, the residents back up, um, and left. Um, had the first resident pass away that I have helped last week, um, she passed away the morning, like, that morning, early in the morning. Um, and they had just started getting her down to do activities, too. Like, she might have done about 16 activities. Uh, so that was sad. Um, even though, like, it was the first time I had met her was last week. Um, oh, it's still sad. Uh, she lived a long life, though, but I'm not gonna go into too many details. I don't know much, anyway. Um, yeah, and then I walked home, and what else did I do? Just hung out. I was um, going to be doing something that afternoon, and it didn't end up happening. Uh person changed their mind, uh, so 
Yeah, and then not much else. Um, just dealing with the air quality here <laughs> uh, from all the fires, wildfires uh, in North America, because there's some in the States too. Um, or these were some in the map thing that I saw. Um, so yeah, air quality isn't great. So I'm trying to be out as little as possible. Um, yeah, I'll keep you posted in the next video.